For those of you who missed our first fireside chat last Thursday, BFX has moved to New York. But fear not, loyal indie mogulers, because we're still going to bring you awesome special effects for bottom barrel prices. This week's project has been heavily requested on our website. CTV Films, Funk Bass Addiction, Nasher, Ron Town Inc., Super Cameraman, Cannibal Clown, Pinstripe 01, Daryl, Spencer, Navid, Gwiz, Movie Man Sam 89, and Dizzy Duckman have all requested a durable, cheap test dummy that they can throw off buildings, run over, and generally abuse. Now when I think about cheap and durable, I think of duct tape. About three rolls of duct tape and some cheap rubber gloves you can get at the hardware store, a long sleeve shirt and a thin pair of pants from the thrift store, and an old pair of socks. While you're at the thrift store, you might as well get some clothes that your dummy and actor can wear as a costume. There's no sense ruining your brand new indie mogul t-shirt. Coming soon. Cool t-shirts. The fun part about DY is that there's no rules. It's do it yourself, and when it means do it yourself, it means you're doing it. There's no boss, there's no president, there's no nobody telling you, so you can just have fun with it. It's a process, and when it's done, it's well worth it. The beauty of this build is that you can customize it to any actor's shape. If you need your short, chubby friend to fall off a roof, just make a dummy of that friend. Today, we're going to make a dummy of Steve. Simple time lapse, woo! The idea for this build is actually pretty simple. Have your actor put on the pants and long sleeve shirt and then cover them in duct tape. Make sure the duct tape is tight and conforms to the actor's body. Apply less tape to pivot points like knees and elbows. Tape the socks and pants together. We chose to do the bottom half, cut it off, and then move to the top. To remove the pants, cut along the sides. To remove the shirt, cut along the back and be very careful not to cut your actor. For the dummy head, I put an old t-shirt on and taped around the forehead and under the chin. Once you've removed the shell from the actor, tape up the seams, fill with newspaper, and then tape up each section together. The last step is to spray paint the face and hands a skin tone. That good effect sucks, you're like, Oh, look at me, I can make a giant sandwich! Who the hell is ever gonna use a gigantic sandwich? I mean, you couldn't even fit that thing in the microwave if you wanted to reheat it later. <laughs> Whatever! Weekend Extra is like the creepy uncle of the indie mogul family. No one likes you, you smell bad, and you eat all the potato salad at the cookouts. That's it, man. You know I have a problem with potato salad, and I hate it when you bring it up! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, no, oh, I'll, I'll buy you all the potato salad. Let's salad. reconsider this. Come on. I mean, just put me down. I'll buy you all. Oh my God! I can't believe you just threw me off the road. I know it's crazy. I'm starting to regret my decision. Oh, that's great. You're reconsidering, and I'm falling to my death. I said regret, not reconsider. Oh my God! Are you okay? Hey Eric, thank god we live on the moon, right? <laughs> Look for more awesome crossovers in the future. And remember to check out the new Fireside Chats every Thursday. BFX every Monday. Weekend Extra every Friday. And if you live in the New York area and want to get involved with Indie Mogul, email us at nyc at indiemogul.com. No matter where you're going or what you're doing, always bring duct tape everywhere. Hi, Andy Mogul. This is Steve from Magic Steve Diablo Joe Productions and a failed special effects attempt that I tried once was using stop motion to make it look like I was flying and I would stand in the spot off to the side, jump in the air, and then move over an inch and jump again and move over an inch and jump again and so on and so on until we had a couple minutes of footage like that and it turned out like complete bitter 
crap. <laughs>